Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Good Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, 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 and welcome to Boardwalk Hall at the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of heavyweight action between Mike Tyson and the real deal of Vander Holyfield. Mike Tyson's ring walks have been known as circus spectaculars, but yet, with all that, to him, it's a moment of extreme attention. Evander Holyfield's ring walk is one of those ring walks where you realize how attentive this fighter is. This is a guy who has his eye on the prize and nothing will distract him. Introducing for first in the one corner by William Brooklyn. And his opponent across the ring. His professional record consists of 43 wins with 28 knockouts and 10 defeats. Fighting out of Atlanta, Evander the Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Power puncher facing a high stamina guy, a well-conditioned guy. How can a well-conditioned fighter best guard his body so that the power puncher is a target? Wow, no doubt about it, affected by that right hand. If I were him, I'd be hanging on a little bit here. That is a classic Tyson uppercut. Good body shot, the right hand came home. Good looking uppercut that time. Up top with the quick hook. Mike Tyson's lucky that the referee didn't see that. I can't believe he just got away with a headbutt. Nice block by Mike Tyson. Tyson's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Look at how flush Holyfield is with that hook. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Evander Holyfield. And he just turns that hook up top, and it does damage. And this round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas ringside. I'm just looking up at the corner here at this guy that just got tagged, Teddy, this fighter who just got stunned. And I'm thinking, boy, it's like the air's come out of him a bit. He looks just so dejected now. Yeah, you know, right now he's on the side of a mountain. You know, he's up on a cliff, and he needs a rope to get down. So that's what you got to do, Joe. You don't look and say, hey, he's up on a cliff. We know that. Give him a rope. Give him advice. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now, expecting the clinch. Big left hand from Iron Mike. Mike Tyson with a big uppercut. Nice. Reich after catching one by Evander Holyfield. Right. 
90 seconds to go here in this round. Good one, two by Evander Holyfield. See him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Iron Mike with an iron right. A good showcase of power by Mike Tyson. And yeah, now we got to see if he can put them together because his opponent has shown a sturdy chin. Mike Tyson. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Oh, that's got to hurt. He goes up top and gets to him, hammering the head. Vander Holyfield's gonna have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's gotta do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the rope, kill some time, make the referee come in between you and break you. A target on his head and he places the hook right on it. So the round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas sitting with you ringside. I know you had a very busy week before you flew here out to broadcast this fight, doing your charitable contribution back in Staten Island with the Dr. Theodore Atlas Foundation. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Joe. We did well. We had our dinner, our yearly dinner, where we're able to raise. Oh, and a big right hand lands. Keep your distance. A little head hunting with the left. Now a well-placed hook to the head. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Holyfield's out to show everybody that he's fine. But we saw what happened in the last round. He was knocked down in that last round. Does he have to prove something to himself as well as proving something to everybody in this arena? No, well, that's the right question. So he's got to revisit his memory banks a little bit and know that he's already proven it to himself. He's been in this position before, so he has to regain that confidence and understand that he can deal with this. He's done it before. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. And just grabbing on to his opponent. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Good plus shot by Mike Tyson. Hard to believe they can still give like this in these final moments of what has been a sensational round. I feel like I'm back at the amusement park on a roller coaster again, like a kid. To the belt line he goes with a left hand. Good fast jab from Holyfield. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Tyson's landed. Oh, and there you go. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Vander Holyfield's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Deep breath. Three rounds completed here as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time. Keep pushing. Locks away that headshot. How about that left hand? Evander Holyfield's showing us that he is willing to stick with the game plan. But Teddy, that game plan saw him knocked down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him? You know, in some ways I'd tell him good because you have to go with what you have. You know, you can't completely change. That's not possible in the course of a fight. You are who you are. So it's not the game plan necessarily, Joe, or the style that's wrong. It's the execution of the game plan. That has to be done better. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Evander Holyfield. Oh, they both... Mike Tyson stunned by that shot. Evander Holyfield's got things going on his side now. Remember, this fight was going against him. Now, a good rally by him. Some of that body work there, even when he was losing the rounds, that body work, it's starting to pay dividends right now. 
That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hands. Huge upper cut, and banging away he goes. Evander Holyfield's down. He may soon be out. This fight could be over. Shot. over the fight is over Mike Tyson's power just much too much for his opponent another knockout for him Tyson's fitting end to a very strong night for him. There is a business component to this game here, this boxing game. And the business component is, yeah, you got to win, but you want to win spectacularly. You want to get people interested, excited. He just did that. I'm Joe Tessitore for Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being the rest of your night.